So, uh, let's give this a quick test. Um, I'm using VirtualBox for this because VirtualBox kicks ass. Um, so if we just hit, I've made a snapshot of before I installed this, so I can um, test it however I want. So just click start and load Windows Vista for me. Here we are at the Windows Vista desktop. I'll just um, copy the installer file over from the VirtualBox host. Minus 20 and the PDB for testing. Copy and paste. There we go. And if we just um, double click, it's a .NET program, so it does require um, an initial GIT compilation, but that shouldn't take um, more than literally two or three seconds. And voila, here we are, device installer. Um, now it's in 18 languages, including Portuguese. Um, and and Vista supports the Chinese fonts now, so that's great. So you can have it in both Chinese traditional and simplified, and Arabic and Farsi. Um, okay, that's a bug. Don't worry about that. I forget that you just click continue. I'll solve it out momentarily. Um, so here we have the installer. So let's install the eyes. I'll just uh, decompress it itself, which shouldn't take too long. There we go. And that's just Ruby notes and stuff. And here's the actual stuff to patch, including all that stuff. And just click next. And as you can see, I unchecked the i36 option, so now it's hidden. Um, but if you have the option for installed computer, it does remain a radio box. Um, this is probably fixed in Vise 2 release 2, um, and the next version of the Notes installer. Uh, so if we just hit install, because we're happy with the defaults, and we're going to do its work, which I might add is significantly faster than the um, original XPIs installation system uh, Francisco wrote, as well as other rival systems that the so-called uh, Windows X uses. Um, him or her um, uses NSYS, which does, whilst it doesn't require .NET, is a moot point on Vista and later. And because everything's done in process, it's just so much faster. Um, you'll note there's no launching of any res hacker process or anything. Um, and what's more, it supports x64 as well. Um, also, file permissions are managed all by itself as well, so you don't need to worry about how it gets past system file protection as well. Uh, which makes making a package really easy, because you don't need to know much technical details. Um, there's a minor UI bug in this, and that doesn't paint the background properly. Um, well, it does now, but you have to forgive it. And there's your stuff. So it's completely patched it. Let's just check the log just to make sure. The log sh will be saved um, under you. Uh, under your uh, local temporary directory, no less installation log and that just lists all the files patched and if there are any problems and as you can see there has been one issue which clearly requires resolving um, otherwise that's it uh, so just hit restart Note that you don't see Aero Glass because this is a virtual machine which doesn't support virtual glass. Um, you will get virtual. You will get Aero Glass if you use uh, Win Virtual PC Seven. That's in the Windows Seven. Um, but who would want to do that? We're running Windows XP here. Yay! And we're going to restart.
And here we are, back up desktop, post reboot. And although you won't see it because Windows Vista has been already done nicely to begin with, um, various things that remained XBI'd in Vista have now been made proper. For instance, if you look at the um, classic start menu, you'll find that the icons are now all Vista. There's no XB around here. Um, other stuff has changed as well, such as if you um, some people we use as a Windows Server will particularly know that uh, um, recognize this. If you go to classic or standard mode, hit apply. And back in my computer, you notice that the background is now fixed. Isn't hot? It doesn't stretch when you mouse over it. But it still disappears when you click on it. This is unfortunately um, how the thing works. Um, also, some other stuff has been fixed as well. That you, it, there's a whole lot of stuff. For instance, the um, bitmaps here now have the correct icons. All that sort of stuff, which is great. Uh, so let's just take back to normal. And of course, Vise is fully, in fact, your package will be fully uninstallable without you having to do anything special because it's all done by itself. You just click Vise and you just click Uninstall Change. And just click install and it will install for you. And create an install point whilst it's at it. And that's really it really. Uh have fun making your own packages and if eventually the Vise website will have a section where you can post your packages and change them and stuff. I've also um got emails with guys at customize.org and they'll be creating a section for an OS packages as well, which is really kind of them. Um so I hope people use this software to make Windows more like they want it to be. Um, and yeah, and thanks a lot, and bye.